Tank Girl here at Showstoppers at CS 2018 and this is the Cat S41. Remember I reviewed the Cat S60 on my channel before. I will link a video in the description below and basically this is kind of its successor. It does lose the FLIR uh, camera, uh, the, the um, thermal imaging camera, but it does get in some ways better specs. It has a 1080p 5 inch display instead of a 720p 4.7 inch display. It does have a MediaTek 8 core processor, 3 gigs of RAM, 30 gigs of storage, and as you can see, this is a pretty cool looking phone uh, as far as rugged phones go. And of course, Cat kind of knows how to do this dust proof, drop proof, waterproof. Uh, it goes all out. There's a 13 megapixel camera on the back that can be used, get this, with underwater. So it has a, a mode that uh, where the touchscreen doesn't interfere with being put underwater. Here's the cat logo. Uh, there's a little flap door here with a micro USB connector. Uh, this phone can has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and it can control, like charge another phone through micro USB with an adapter, which is really interesting. Uh, you can see here the power lock key volume rocker on the right hand side. Uh, and then uh, we have these three hardware buttons on the front that I showed you, that 1080p 5 inch display. And uh, these two flaps here uh, lift off, actually it's one big flap, has the uh, micro SD and SIM card in there. And this is a programmable key that can be used for push to talk or uh, SOS or camera key or whatever you want. Uh, so it's a, a bit more streamlined design than the S60 uh, and uh, more affordable, $449. Uh, it also has a headphone jack as you can see uh, hidden back that, un underneath that flap on top here. Um, yeah. Pretty cool, 5,000 milliamp hour battery with a MediaTek octa-core processor. That's gonna run for a really long time. So there you have, that's the S41 from Cat. It came out a couple of months back. Uh, and then uh, more recently, uh, I also wanna say the front camera is an eight megapixel, uh, which is a little better than the S60's five. Uh, and you don't have to worry about um, water getting in the uh, speakers on this model, uh, like the other one that had these little doors. So a little more sleek, uh, less, less expensive, but you lose the thermal camera. Uh, then there's this device right here. This is a Cat S31. So the S31 is kind of like the little affordable baby. It's 339 as a 4.7 inch 720p display. This is the same display as the S60's display. Uh, but it uh, goes down to a Snapdragon 200 processor in terms of, uh, of guts. And I think the battery is like something like 4,000. Yeah, that's right. Uh, eight megapixel camera on the back. 2 megapixel camera in the front, not nearly quite as high end, especially with that Snapdragon uh, 200. Uh, only 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of storage versus the uh, S41, which has 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. So again though, you have the hardware keys and you have the uh, programmable key here. The power button is actually on the left side. Uh, and then on the other side, of course, you got the volume rocker and these two flap doors that hide the SIM card and the micro SD expansion. Uh, yeah, so interesting. I'm not sure that you'd want a Snapdragon 200 phone for $339, but it is pretty much unbreakable, so that's cool. Um, I think the more interesting one is the S41, frankly. The um, S31, by the way, came out just last month, so pretty fresh from November. So there you have it. It's uh, Cat S41 and Cat S31 here at CS 2018. Uh, please subscribe and like this video if you love it. Check out my S60 video linked in the description below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my podcast, mobiletechpodcast.com. Cheers.